what is your name? Pam Denham. And how long have you lived in Milwaukee? Ten, it's coming on 10 years. And what section of town do you live in? Island Station neighborhood. And what do you like best about Milwaukee? Uh, a number of things. I like that we're along the river. I love the small town feel. I wish we had more um, shops in the downtown, but hopefully that can be taken care of. I love that everybody talks to each other. You know most of the people that you come in contact with in town. Um, I like that. And uh, why did you come to Milwaukee? We lived in Clackamas in a regular neighborhood, and my kids wanted the sidewalks and the, to walk to school like their other friends did. And then they grew up, <laughs> and so my husband and I wanted to buy a house for ourselves, and I didn't want that tract house. We wanted something cozier, cuter, more individual. And so we found a place that's I wanted, it was really specific about being on or near the river. And we found one. So we're across the street from the river. We get to, we could see it and watch the wildlife every day. We can walk to town, um, walk to the max station, walks to the bus. I love it. And my neighbors are wonderful. And uh, what is your favorite story about Milwaukee or a time that you lived in Milwaukee? That's tough because after this long, there's a lot. Um, I think just the way the neighbors get together and help each other. You know, we have a sometimes active, sometimes not so active neighborhood association. But everybody helps each other and looks out for each other. We all know, if we don't know all the neighbors' names, we know what their dogs' names are <laughs> so, from walking. And so we say hi to everybody, and, and I like that. That's one of my favorite parts. Now you mentioned uh, your Neighborhood District Association. Uh, what is it and um, what does it do? Oh dear. <laughs> okay. So Neighborhood District Association, there are seven in the city of Milwaukee and of course I am involved in that as I am in many other aspects of a civic life in Milwaukee. But it is supposed to be for the communication between the neighbors and the city. This we're supposed to be the intermediary and to disseminate information from the city and to bring concerns or improvements needed to the city. And what were some of your concerns that uh, your neighborhood has worked on? Oh, let's see. Um, we are between Kellogg Creek Park, which has the wastewater treatment plant, and Spring Park. And so the wastewater treatment plant was a big one because it can get pretty smelly. And over the years of the Kellogg Neighbor Committee making sure that they addressed the issues, it's really come around and made a big difference there. So the smell is much, much less. We have an active freight line in our neighborhood. And some of the things that we've talked about in the Neighborhood Association is closing off some of the streets so that the train horn wouldn't disturb people in the night. That brought out a lot of people. Um, we made a street design for Southeast 19th Avenue that goes between Kellogg Creek and Spring Park to Elk Island, Elk Rock Island. We made a street design which is one of Carolyn Tomei, our former state legislators, uh, skinny streets so that we don't have to have sidewalks because parts of our street are 15 feet wide and then that took a lot but it's an active walking path for people to go from all the way down from town over to Elk Rock Island so you actually have more we actually have more people walking riding bikes trikes wheelchairs walkers everything it's like a parade route so that was one of the things we accomplished too. Um, Spring Creek Park. Cronberg Park. Spring Creek. <laughs> Spring Park. Spring Park. Yes, is the gateway to Elk Rock Island. And so the neighborhood made a small um, playground and grass area there, probably about 15 
to 20 years ago before I came. And it's lovely. And there are now two bathrooms out there, porta potties, which are much needed. And the people in the city and the neighborhood get together and we work, and North Clackamas Parks and Rec usually uh, coordinates it. And we have ivy poles and work parties to fix the pathways. And, and um, some of the neighbors, the birds, they do, they've adopted a road and they, on River Road, and they keep that nice and clean. And we have gotten a new sidewalks through the SAFE project on our two arterial roads. And that's really helpful for kids to catch the bus. It's a lot safer than it was before. And you mentioned civic duties. What other civic duties do you do besides uh, the Neighborhood District Association? I've always been one to be involved. So um, I am on the Neighborhood District Association board. I work with, and I'm on the Land Use Committee, the chair of that for the neighborhood. I work with the Public Safety Advisory Committee for the last six years now. I am involved in Milwaukee Environmental Stewards Group, and we really work hard to make sure that people have access to information of simple things that they can do to improve where they live and the planet. And I'm trying to think if there's something else that I know I always, oh, CERT, Community Emergency Response Team. So I am a team leader on that team, and we have many members that live in the Island Station neighborhood, but it's not neighborhood specific, it's for the city as a whole. And, and, what, and what does CERT do? We work on neighborhood preparedness and for ourselves and then helping our neighbors. And so we learn basic first aid, CPR, triaging, um, how to assist with getting people out of a situation as we are needed. What would we do if the freight train derailed through the middle of town? You know, how can we help? We helped with the wildfires. Um, I was asked to help and the call went out and so I did and we set up a um, not a rescue station I can't think of what the word would be right now evacuation center at Clackamas Community College in Oregon City and the first night of the wildfires in September of 2020 and it was horrible people were coming in their cars with the clothes on their back holding a cat or a dog and that's all they could get before their house burned and they had to go to an evacuation center. So I did that overnight the first night, set that up with Red Cross. That was very humbling. Mm -hmm. But that was part of a, a CERT call out, so. And so if you could do me a favor, if you could look just right on, right here, right in the camera lens and wish uh, the city of Milwaukee a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Milwaukee. I'm really glad to live here and I wanna continue doing that till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. That's it.